What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video girl, we're doing my first ever anti-haul girl. I have seen so many videos on YouTube where people are just talking about the anti-haul and if you don't know what that is, basically it's stuff that you are not going to purchase. So I thought, you know, why not talk about it? So the first anti-haul I have on my list is going to be Too Faced Cosmetics, girl. Busted ass Too Faced. Now, look, a lot, a lot of you were like, why don't you like Too Faced? Well, here's a drama, girl. I'm gonna tell you a little secret, okay? So, Too Faced Cosmetics sold the company for $1 billion, girl. That's right. If you didn't know, Too Faced Cosmetics sold their company for $1 billion. Not $1 million, not $1,000. But one billion dollars. You know how many chicken nuggets you can buy with all that money? You know how much gluten-free pizza you can buy? A lot of money. Actually, I feel like that's more money than you can possibly spend in your life. Like, you couldn't even go through it all. So anyways, here's where I have my issue, right? So here you have Too Faced Cosmetics Girl, now worth one billion dollars. It's owned, I think, by Estee Lauder or Lancome. I'm not sure, but y'all probably know, girl. The CEO of Too Faced Cosmetics is still directors. It's still the creative director. He probably he probably writes himself a check, right? Who knows? But my issue with Too Faced is I just feel like you have so much money. Too Faced Cosmetics seems to be hip to the game. They feature a lot of beauty bloggers in their videos, and I just feel like Too Faced is not innovating enough. And I feel like they're just sitting down, like, oh, girl, I made it. I'm too booked to be bothered. I'm too booked and busy, girl. I'm too busy and booked. You know what I mean? And they're just like not innovating and not coming up with fresh ideas. They're still making palettes that smell like chocolate and peaches. And I just feel like they should take inspiration from like Korean makeup brands and just innovate something really cool and new and fresh for the American market And so I just feel like the CEO of Too Faced is just sitting down girl just coasting just you know coasting And if you really love makeup, I think he would be innovating and I think he would be putting out fresh new products that people would be like You know what? I want to try that. I know it's a gimmick. I want to try it or it looks really cool I want to buy it or something like that. I just feel like they're just slacking girl and that's why I just feel like Too Faced Cosmetics girl I'm just anti ha anything Too Faced Cosmetics at this po at this moment in time because I just feel like they're not innovating. However, they might come out with something new during Christmas or you know, in the future and then we'll revisit the brand later on then. But so right now, I just think the brand is just so boring, girl. So boring the house. Second thing on my anti haul girl is Jacqueline Anything for Views Hill girl, her makeup palette with Morphe. Now, this palette is on my anti haul because I cannot get my hands on it, girl. And that's pretty much the only reason why. I'm pretty sure it's a lovely palette and people love it so much, but I have tried to get this palette and I can't. I see it's on eBay now for like $20, but I don't even think that's real, girl. So I wouldn't even bother with that. Next thing on my anti haul is going to be the Sephora Pro palette. The one with all the sparkly colors and stuff like that. I feel like that palette is way overpriced for what it is. There's so many palettes out there that have those vibrant colors for way cheaper. I know because I love vibrant bright color palettes. And when I saw that one, I really liked it and I really wanted to get it. But as time went by, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get gooped the house, girl. I know it ain't worth it, girl. It's what, $60, like $70? $70? Girl, no ma'am. Save my coin, girl. Go purchase some BH Cosmetics, girl. Most people, like the average girl out there, is not going to use those crazy colors. They more stick to like cool tones and warm tones. So paying that amount of money for a palette like that to me is not worth it. Where well, they can just go for another brand and get those same bright colors for a cheaper price. And they probably won't even use it all. You know, like what are the chances you're actually going to hit pan? You know what I'm saying? Someone like me, I hit pan fairly quickly with blues and pinks and greens. And there's a lot of the white girl. But for the average person girl, they're not going to hit pan girl. So I would say just save your coin and buy something better girl. Another thing on my anti haw list girl is the Urban Decay Heat Palette girl. I think that palette is busted the house. You already know, I told y'all in another video, that just looking at it and it says heat. And the colors look all warm and hot girl. And my fat ass doesn't like the heat girl. So I'm like, you know what Miss Thing? No, ma'am, because just looking at it, I get all hot and bothered. I get all mad, girl. I just hate being in the heat. I don't want to buy something that says heat and put the heat on my face, girl. And they claim it's neutral tone. 
Girl, nobody is a glittery copper skin tone, girl. I mean, come on. But jokes aside, I just feel like this palette was just like, let's put out a palette, let's put out a palette, and it's summertime, call it heat. Oh, a palette called heat in the summertime. Groundbreaking. It's like having florals in spring, girl. Been there, done that, girl. Come on. Pretty sure Urban Decay is a lovely brand, but girl, bye. To me, they're boring the house, too. And you already know, another thing on the Annie Hall list is Busted Ass. Anything for views, Kylie Jenner, girl, and her birthday collection. And uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be videos dropping within the next couple of days. People, how much they love it so much. But girl, with me, I think that whole palette is a gimmick. The whole birthday collection with Kylie Jenner is a joke, girl. Especially because, like, what, three weeks ago, she came out with the other palette. Now she's coming out with this palette. Girl, bye. You're not gonna get my money in the house. And I did, like, I actually wanted, like, I actually gave it a chance, girl. Because I was like, my birthday's coming up in a few days. And I was like, you know what, girl? I Maybe I should get this palette. And I thought about, like, no, you'll never get my money, busted ass Kylie Jenner. Never. Well, you don't know what? My opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, is that Kylie Jenner's coming out with all these makeup products so quickly. So that way she can pay for all her lawsuits that she has, girl. Clock that, the house, Miss Thing. Another anti-haul, girl, I have coming out is the Huda Beauty Lashes, girl. Uh, I'll never buy them lashes again, girl. I bought them one time. I feel like they were so overpriced for what they were. And I just didn't like the quality. And, but most importantly, like, sometimes I try to disassociate the CEO with the brand. You know, like, the makeup could be really good, but then the person behind it could just be a jerk or whatever. I feel like Huda Beauty is like a total clickbait scam girl. If you go to her Instagram, she's always doing like these weird challenges and just for the clicks girl. And I just feel like she really shouldn't even be doing that. Like, like I, I feel like she's the more sophisticated, classy woman to be doing what she's doing on, on the Instagram. You know what I'm saying? But I overall, so far, I just never, it, it, the brand just always like rubbed me the, the wrong way. And I got to say, I'm pretty sure she's a lovely person girl, but to me, girl, bye. Another thing on my Annie Hall busted ass list, girl, is the Kim Kardashian KKW Beauty Contour Sticks of the World YouTube. Um, we talked about this so many times on this channel. I don't feel, okay, and so like, to give like the benefit of the doubt, right, usually cream consistencies like that, like these, these are, this is the NYX Cosmetics. This is like the pink color that I have like a little bit right here. All right. All right, and here's the white one right here. Little jumbo Nick sticks, right? It's like a creamy consistency. And so like, I feel like after a couple uses, I have to like sharpen it again. And so I, what I've noticed is that when it comes to like creamy type makeup, you kind of go through it very quickly. So with that, I saw this video that you get around like 50, maybe 60 uses of the KKW contour sticks. So it's like one use, two uses. And so you really don't get that much bang for your buck. But I really do see more and more and more celebrities coming into the beauty world and launching their own makeup and all the whole nine, girl. But I just think it was kind of a gimmick. And I think I feel bad for the people who actually spent their money and bought it. And I don't think it was worth it at all. Especially because it cracks, girl. And me, like, I'm like real rough with my makeup. So I would extend that thing out and it, oop, broke, girl. Miss Thing, no ma'am. I'm pretty sure Kim Kardashian will come out with other products later on this year. And, you know, we'll, we'll visit those, see if we like them. But for these KKW sticks, girl, not bothered the house. Next thing we got is a Tarte Shape Tape. This is like an old one, girl. This has been around for a while. But I've never bought it. At least I don't think I did. I don't think I bought it. But the reason why I didn't want to buy it is because I saw so many influencers pushing the Tarte Shape Tape to the point where like I would see it and I'm like, oh, you know what? So many people are talking about this. I want to buy it. But then I found out that if you click like their link, their affiliate link, so that way they get like a small commission if you purchase it. I found out, this is my opinion, girl, I'm not to have it. From what I found out, Tarte Shape Tape was priced at a high commission so that way if somebody buys it with your affiliate link you get like five or six dollars and as to compare it to like other concealers that were trying to get influencers to push it they were like two or three dollars so i so i thought so i've noticed that the beauty influencers were pushing the tarte shape tape because it had a higher commission rate if somebody were to purchase it with their affiliate link so that let me think well are they pushing it because it's a higher commission rate or are they pushing it because it's actually sickening product of the world and I just came to the conclusion that it just had a higher commission rate so people were pushing it more on the hopes that they would buy it if they clicked the link down below and all that stuff like that. So that's why I always just was like, girl, I'm not gonna get gooped the house, I'm not gonna buy it because so many people are like pushing it. You get what I'm saying? And that's my opinion, I'm not to have it, girl. Back to busted ass Too Faced Cosmetics, girl, and their whole glitter palette, girl. 
That one looks so beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Visually, it is stunning. The packaging is well made. At least it looks like it. But when I had like swatched it and played with it at the store, I really didn't like it. And there's like, it's playing with glitter around the eyes, I'm really kind of sensitive, girl. I don't, my eyes tend to get red really quickly if I get anything in there. Kind of like hesitate putting glitter on my eyes. So having a whole glitter eyeshadow palette, I just think screams disaster. And the fact that I don't feel like they're innovating enough, girl. I was like, girl, bye. Oh, girl, another one on the list, Natasha Denona or something like that. I think I got it right, girl. Judge me kindly if I got it wrong, girl. Judge me kindly. But I feel like that palette was way, 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 way overpriced. I do not see, like, the average person, the average girl spending, like, $100 on that palette for some basic-ass colors, girl. I don't think it's worth it at all. So save your money, girl. Do not buy that expensive ass palette the house, girl. Miss Thing, you better not buy it, girl, okay? I'm telling you right now. I know if I didn't mention it, y'all would have told me in the comments down below. But another thing on my anti haul list is a damn subculture palette, girl, by Anastasia, busted ass, Beverly, anything for views, hills. So, uh, yeah, the subculture palette, girl, I do not think it's worth it. There's been videos floating around the internet of this girl swatching it and the makeup just crumbling apart and it, it didn't want to blend correctly. And then somebody who worked for the company was talking about like something about a new batch or something like that. I don't know, girl. To me, all that drama just made me feel like I don't even want to deal with it. And maybe, and I, and I, are you like that too, girl? Like if something has so much drama about it, you just don't want to mess with it? I know I was like that, girl. I was like, you know what? This palette hasn't even came out yet and people are dragging it through the mud. And I like to think of myself, well, let me give it a try before I pass judgment, girl. And maybe I will. Maybe I'll actually buy it just for the sake of the video and see, you know, how it works out. But as of right now, it's on my anti haul list. I do not want to buy Subculture Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think I'll save my coin on that one, girl. And to me, it just looks so similar to the other one. Like, you would think that it would have been like bright colors or super dark colors, but no. Girl, boring, bust at the house. Another one, girl, I know this is kind of oldie, girl, is a Chrissy Teigen. I keep seeing it everywhere at the stores. I feel like that palette was a total remake of other colors that that brand couldn't sell, and they just pushed it on this palette right here, and people are going crazy buying it the world. I think the price point was off. I'm not really a big fan of Chrissy Teigen. I don't even know who she is. I don't even care to know who she is. I don't even want to know who she is. And I saw like the commercial where she's like baking it and then she drops it. It's like, I don't understand what, it doesn't make any sense to me. Cause I don't, I don't even think those makeup palettes were like baked or something. I don't know girl. It's just boring, buzz the house girl, no ma'am. As always girl, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you liked the video, share it with your friends. If you didn't like the video, send it to your haters so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get but yeah, please let me know in the comments down below any palettes, any stuff on the, on your anti haul list that you're not gonna buy and why. I would love to read those comments. See you next video. Peace.